Hello, we're going to be looking at De Morgan's laws. Um, De Morgan, or Augustus De Morgan, was a British mathematician who came up with a set of rules, a transformational rules, uh, to be used with uh, Boolean algebra. Now, he came up with two laws, Now, uh, and on the face of it, they look complicated, but they're, they're not. So, the first law is the negation of the conjunction is the disjunction of the negations. Half of you watching this video might be thinking, what is that about? Um, you have to understand some English here. So the conjunction is um, basically joining of two things or more. Okay, So you can think of that as an AND gate. Um, the negation of something is the opposite. So the opposite of a conjunction, the opposite of an AND gate would be a NAND gate. Uh, the disjunction basically means alternative, and the alternative in this case could be considered to be an OR gate. So you can turn a NAND gate into a circuit that uses OR gates uh, instead. Okay, so it will be, um, in this case, if you look down at the bottom of the screen here, you have a NAND gate. Basically, it is the same as uh, an OR gate preceded by two NOT gates, the output would be exactly the same. And this table kind of shows that. So we can say that NOT A and B is the same as NOT A or NOT B. Or, if you want to be really uh, fancy about that, you can say the negation of the conjunction is the disjunction of the negations. Okay. So basically this is rule one or law one. NOT A and B is the same as NOT A or NOT B. Rule two or law two, okay, uh, that's the correct format of, uh, say, of how you would write that. Rule two or law two is the same, uh, except this time it's the negation of the disjunction, so the opposite of the or of something, so basically a nor gate, is the conjunction of the negations, okay. So looking down here, we can see that, um, you have a NOR gate, it is the same as an AND gate that is preceded by two NOT gates. Okay. Now, what I suggest you do is you just pause the video and take a look at that, that table first and kind of work you, get your head around what's, what's going on. Um, just to help you out, we are, uh, uh, the multiplication sign indicates, uh, the AND. It can also be denoted by a, um, dot or the absence of the dot. It means the same thing. So think about your algebra lessons uh, when you're doing studying maths. Um, you can you can interchange all of these things. I prefer to use the dots or no dots at all. Um, the not in this case is represented by the line above, but in this part of the uh, sequence we've got a one a, a, a small one which denotes a not. It's the opposite. So pause the video on this section um, and, and get your head around that particular truth table and how they work with the gates. Okay, You might want to try drawing the actual gates and putting like little ones and zeros next and kind of following it through. So take a look at that. And then pause the video on this one and do the same. We're going to move on now and take a look at some of the other rules. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize that. All right, so <clears throat> the other rules state there are there are common rules here uh, which you need to be aware of. There are three laws in um, Boolean algebra that are the same as ordinary algebra, and that is the first one is this um, this law here where you can say a b is the same as b a, so a and b is the same as B and A. Okay, I'll, I'll write some of these down. So the three, the three common rules are A, B is the same as B, A. And you can, that's the same as common algebra. Also, you can then have A or B is the same as B or A. Okay, so that's the first, that's the first common rule. The next common rule is the associative laws, which are, are listed down here. Um, and this is where you can just basically change the order of any and or any or um, and it doesn't matter what order you put those letters in 
the result was always going to be the same. The third law, which is always the same as normal algebra, is the distributive law. Um, so you can have things like, um, it's basically the distributive law is, is, is the factoring law. So um, you can basically, any common variable can be factored from that expression, um, just like you normally would do. So for example, you could have something like a b plus c is the same as if you if you were to factor these if you were to factor these out okay you can have a b plus a c okay so th those things are exactly the same okay so um just actually it might be worth just proving that to you quickly so if we were to draw this out as a as a diagram we could say right b and c, uh, b or c so I'll have those two inputs, B or C, and A down here, going into an AND gate. So this is my OR gate, this is my AND gate, okay, um, is the same as AB and AC, okay. Um, in fact, let's, let's, uh, Rub that bit out and do this like a proper little circuit diagram. So we'll skip over that one. So we've got A, A and B uh, going into an OR gate, and we have A and C going into an OR gate will result in X. Okay. So if you pause the video as well here, you can actually draw a truth table just to test that out. Uh, but I'm telling you now. It's exactly the same. All right. So let's move on then. Let's let's um, look at some of the other basic rules. So I'll, I'll leave this always up this um, this notepad here, so you can see what these these rules are. These are really important because we're going to be making use of these as we do some um, uh, basically as we go around simplifying some equations. Okay. So let's. Uh, I'm going to just clear this screen. Okay, and we're going to, to move on. So let's grab my notes. All right, so let's take an example of something like A plus B, and then we'll do A plus C. Okay, so we can, um, we can factorize these and, and break this out slightly. So what we're going to do is we're going to, take if you if you think about foil okay you've got first outside inside last um we're going to factor these two first and then we're going to factor these two okay so this you could say would be equal to a a plus a c plus B A plus uh, B C. Okay. So looking at that, we can simplify this down. So let's look at this first one. Let's get rid of this double A. So we're going to, we're going to get rid of this, this thing here, because we don't need that. So if we look in our list over here, we can see that A plus or A and A is equal to A. So we can just write that as A. So then we're left with A C B A and B C. Okay. Now what we want to do is look for um, the common the common letter here. So we've got A. So what we're going to say is uh, we're going we're going to we're going to uh, again um, we're going to uh, use the like term and pull it out, and we're going to leave this BC alone for the moment. So we're going to take this this um, this common letter, so A in AC and BA, and we're going to factor it out. So we're going to say A, or well, A and A is 1, uh, so this needs to be a plus, and we have the C, and we have the B, okay? And we already know it's, there's a, a 1 there anyway, so um, we're taking that one out, so we'll leave that like that, plus 
BC. All right, now, looking down this law again, we have one or C or B. Now we know that anything, when it's a, um, a value or a one, the output's gonna be one. So effectively, we have one and some values. So we know the output there is gonna be one. So we can simplify this further and say, right, A is gonna be one plus B, C, okay? Now, we don't need A, A and one, if you look down the rules again, A and one is gonna be one. Um, so actually, we can just say that that is A as well. So we can say, okay, A plus B, C. So we've turned this equation, we've simplified this equation down to its most simplistic form by following the rules laid out in this table. Okay, so uh, we started off by using FOIL and then looking for common factors and factoring it down until we got to, to this uh, equation. Okay, let's take a look at another one then. Okay, so we have got, uh, let's do A, not A, not A or B, and A or B. Okay, so what do we do? Right, so we're gonna look for uh, some common factors. So we've got some common factors here. We've got B and B, okay? So let's use that, okay? And um, and rewrite that equation. So we're gonna do B is gonna be not A or A, okay? Now, if we use our rules in this table, we have a not A or A is equal to one. So here, here's our rule here, where, which, for, which matches that pattern. We've got A plus not A here, but it's one. So we can say B is equal to one. Well, we already know that that will result in one. So actually we can just say B. So this Boolean expression can actually be simplified down to B. Whatever B is, this will be true as well, okay? Again, try pausing this video, um, do a tooth table for that, draw the circuits out, see if that actually works. Draw a circuit for this, and draw a circuit for this, and see if the, well, this, the, the circuit will be this, will be silly, but, um, you know, draw a tooth table and you'll see that the two match up, okay? Right, so let's do one more example. I'll delete that one. This time we're gonna go for A, C, we're gonna say, uh, or, so we've got A, not, A and not C, or A, B and, A and B and not C, okay? So, we're gonna find the like terms and pull them out. So the like terms are A, C and A, C. So we're gonna say, okay, A C, and not C, sorry, A and not C and A and not C here, these are the like terms. So we have A and not C, that's equal to uh, one and B, because um, we removed, you know, we've got AC and AC, so we're putting one plus B. Uh, then what we can do is say, okay, well, we can remove the B, or we can keep the one, uh, but we can say, right, A not C is one. That can be then removed, and we can be left with AC. So we can we can actually simplify this by saying A not, and not C, or A and B and not C is basically equal to A and not C. Again, we're using the rules that are laid out in this table. Pause the video, draw a tooth table, draw the circuits, test it out, make sure it works uh, to fully understand it. All right, let's do another. Okay, so. We're gonna go uh, A, not B, and D. So A and not B and D, or A and not B and not D. Right, so what's this gonna be equal to? Right, so in this example, we again look for some um, common factors. We have A and not B. So we have the, these are our common factors that we want to use. 
So we can say A and not B is equal to D and not D. Okay. Looking at our table, D and not D, we can see that, uh, where have we got this then? Here, A, we've got A and not A is equal to 1. So we can say, right, A and not B is equal to 1. And then we can say, okay, A and not B is the same. It's the equivalent of A and not B and D or A and not B and not D. Okay, pause the video, draw a tooth table, draw the circuit diagrams, check that it works. Right, next step then. Looking at De Morgan's Law, we're just going to um, try something that's a little bit more complicated. Um, we are going to take, let's do uh, A, B, we're going to do a knot of that, and we're going to and they, this, and we're going to do B or C, and we're actually going to knot the whole thing. Okay, right. So how do we simplify this? Now, a good way of simplifying this is actually to think about um, this problem as a as a as a kind of like a smaller problem. Okay, so I'm going to. If I, if I look down here, this pattern here looks very similar to this pattern here. Now, what I want to do is say, okay, this I'm going to call X and this I'm going to call Y. Okay, so I'm going to say then that X is going to be equal to A and not B and Y is going to be equal to not B or C. All right, so if if I'm looking at that, I can then rewrite this uh, problem out like so. I can say, right, not X multiplied by, well, not multiplied by, uh, not X and Y, but remember we've got the not at the top here as well. Using De Morgan's law, I can, I want to break this apart. So to, to break, Let's, I'm just going to rub that bit out. To break this apart, I would write it like this. I'm going to just go x plus y. Put the um, the knots here. So I've broken this basically in half, and I've changed this. If I, if maybe it'd be better if I go rub that out, change that, smash that in the middle and change that to a plus just so you can see the process okay so it was that and that then results to this as we change it the um the the double knots here basically cancel each other out okay so we can express this then as x plus not y okay so that's the kind of process we're going down but we're doing it here so I want to smash this top knot gate in half. That will result in us changing this AND gate into an OR gate. So let's rewrite that. We're going to go A, B, not, not, plus, uh, let's put that in brackets to make it clearer, not B or C. This knot gate at the top here gets smashed in half. So we're left with this. The two knot gates up at the top here get uh, basically cancel each, cancel each other out. So we end up with A and not B plus not B and C with a knot on the top. Um, now what we want to do is change this into a AND gate. So we're going to apply the rules of De Morgan there, the laws of De Morgan. Um, so this time we're saying the it's law two. We're saying the negation of the disjunction is the conjunction of the negation. So what we're going to do is we're going to smash this in half. Uh, that will result in B, not not B, plus not C, oh, not plus, uh, and not C, 
Let's put this bit in here. The two knots cancel each other out. So that will then finally result in A and B, not B, or B and not C. Okay, so this complex, this complex um, expression can be simplified down into this simple um, expression. What I suggest you do, as always, is draw a truth table for these, for this complex expression, and then also draw a truth table for this comp, uh, for this simple expression. Check to make sure they match up. I also suggest doing the um, the uh, what do you call it the circuit diagram um, to help you along with that as well. Okay. Uh, if you if you don't know a good circuit diagram uh, or circuit program, um, I always recommend using. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, I have all these apps, and I never organise myself at all well. Um, computing. Here it is. Logic Ly. Logic .ly. Uh, if you head on to this particular um, app, you'll find it quite easy to use. You literally just drag and drop things in. You can add latches and switches. Um, but yeah, use this um, to help you draw your circuits and test out all your ideas and make sure they all match up. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Um, I hope you found it useful. I will maybe make some more videos explaining some of these concepts. I know this was a long one, but again, it's intended for my A-level students. So, okay, take it easy.